Want wat ben je nog ja? There's a burglar. Who are you? Oh, God, Dad. That's her. She's been making a terrible bloody racket. Phone Ralph and we'll get the police. I'll get the police for you, pal. You're not private property. Don't be hard-faced. Get out. And you can make a cup of tea while we're waiting for Ralph. What's happening, Dad? Who is he? Where exactly do you think you are, pal? I live here. What's your name? Uh, Harry Cross. Mr. Cross to you. Now Cross. Harry Cross. Well, he says he lives there. Whose idea was it to change the kitchen? Uh, me mum's. Just to confuse me, like. Now, listen, Mr. Cross. Anyway, while you're doing nothing, go and put the kettle on. Well, at least we got rid of that reporter. But, him, um, you all right? Frightened the life out of you, didn't he? Yeah, he really freaked me out. I'm definitely going to get one of them alarms now. Diane says I can change my mind at any time. What's that? Oh, you know, ages ago. Diane said I can have a panic button. Well, that's probably not a bad idea with fellas like this roaming around. I think you've given us the wrong address, mate. Who are you calling, mate? I served in the army with fellas. They were mates. Listen, Mr Cross, have you got your wallet on you or anything with your address in? I live here with Ralph. No one called Ralph lives here. No Ralph. Did the big dark fella throw him out? Dark fella? Uh Mick. Hey, I'm past here, like. Are you gonna put the tea on or what? You mean Mick Johnson? Oh, let's just make him a drink and then. I need the toilet. There's no sugar. Yeah. My mum knows I like sugar. Oh, Dad, listen to him. Never mind, listen to him. We can't be stuck with him. Hey! There's the window cleaner. Hey! Dingy! All right, Harry. You two know each other? Of course we do. It's, um, Popeye. Popeye? He came in, arse, and he thinks he lives there. Hey, Popeye. I think this squat is in me and Ralph's place. He's a bit confused. We'll have to call the police. All right, Harry. How are you doing, kid? Who are you? Is he off it over? He, um, wandered into theirs, you know. Listen, I hate to leave you with a problem, but you do know him. It seems to be your nature to take on lost causes. Hey, Dad, the Alpha hasn't done anything. Oh, come on, let's go. Oh, and by the way, you've got an unwanted visitor now. Hey? Harry? Come here, mate, we'll, uh, take it to mix and get you sorted out, eh? Thanks, Popeye. It's sin bad. All he ever does, just sit there. Why? You worried he's pinching your act? Look, I need you to talk to him while I ring round some of the old folks' homes just to find out whether they're a guest short of a full house. No way. He's a sandwich short of a picnic. Keep on telling me my name's Tim, but all he ever does is call me Damon. Look, just have a little bit of respect for once. I mean, he's a bit confused. Yeah, and what am I supposed to speak to him about? Well, he's got a son called Kevin who lived in McGull. I mean, he's not listed, but, I mean, you could get a phone number off him or an address, anything. Five minutes, and then I'm off. Nice one, sir. All right, Mr. Cross. All right, Damon, son. Er, uh, Tim, yeah? Anyway, Simbad said you've got a son called Kevin. He'd made a right mess on the carpet this morning. Who, Kevin? Yeah, I'll be Doug Monty. Um, so, can you... Tell me where you live. Is this coconut a bit touched or what? You cheeky old goat. It's not for me to say, H. I'd better fetch him in. Oh, me jacket! Oh, careful, Harry. 
It's ruined your stupid arm, me. All right, that's enough, Tim. I'm not having this. I'm getting off. Tim! <sighs> nice one, Harry. Just think, Harry. When you moved out of the bungalow, you went to live in St. Helens. St. Helens? <sighs> hey, look outside and see his Monty there while you're up, will you? Yes, Your Majesty. <laughs> Hello. All right, Mick. Now, what can I do? Hmm. Yeah. It's like banging your head against a brick wall. Can't get anything out of him. No, not a soul. No. I've been through every old folks home in the booth. No one's heard of them. No, they say they haven't. No. All right, then. Hi, hi, Raffles. What's your game? Who are you, the gardener? Never mind who I am. Who are you? I own this place. Don't try it with me, sunshine. I live next door and I've never seen you before. Excuse me? Would someone like to tell me what's going on? Oh, I Caught you two barriatis, have I, eh? I beg your pardon? I spotted them outside, sizing the place up. And where's my piano? My head will go spare if it's damaged. Is he for real or what? Phone the police. Oh, hang on. It's Harry, isn't it? Harry? My God, he's shot up. What's Susanna been feeding him? Harry Cross, that's right. And you two are trespassing. There you are, Harry. Where have you been? He wandered into Susanna's looking for this piano. What's going on? Who's he here when say, well? Have you seen Monty? I've looked everywhere for him. Sorry about this. No problem. Come here, Dave. I would have made you one, but I only watched my kex last week. You watching this? No. So, my Edna, when did she die? What? I said, my wife Edna, when did she die? Oh, eh. Uh, I don't know. I'm sorry. And what about Ralph? Is he dead? I don't know anyone called Ralph. Just me, then. Ralph was a great mate of mine. Ted were being on your own, son. But you're not on your own. What about what's-his-face, you know? Kevin, your son? He doesn't want me hanging about. Of course he does. He's probably going off his head right now, wondering where you are, doing all sorts to find you. Where is he, then? He'll be here. But you're his old fella. He's not just going to forget you, is he? Your family just don't dump you. Where's yours, then? Er, uh, they're around. I still see them. A terrible thing, son. Growing old on your own. All right, you two. How's he been? Any more disappearing acts? No. What's up? Nothing. Where are you going? Just out. Sorry, I spoke. I'm all in H, just me and you then. All yeah, right, Harry, it's okay. Okay? I'm not sleeping in that. Well, we'll soon have it sorted. It's a disgrace. Wait, I tell Edna, you should stick to cleaning windows. What's up? Not on the all right, he's just had a bit of an accident, you know. Oh, no. Well, it's all right. It just means I'll be a little bit late in for work. I'll uh, sponge the mattress down and then um, get one of them protectors for tonight. It's ridiculous, you know, son. We've got to do something. Well, it'll be all right once I've managed to trace his lad. We can't carry on like this. It's not fair on Harry. We can't cope. I'm just going into town. Ralph, where's he got to now? H, you all right up there? I'll be down in a minute, Kev. Is he still here? Yeah, well, most of the time, yeah. Mick said we should get onto the social, we can get something sorted out. Yeah, well, I don't blame him. He's well lost the plot, him. Ah, it's a nightmare. 
Poor old fella, he doesn't know where he is half the time. Yes, it will not your responsibility, Sinbad. All right, H. How are you? Listen, we'll get you sorted and then we'll make a few more phone calls, all right? Sanity today, Kevin. Kevin? He'll be out on the pop with his mates. You know what they're like when they've had that first pint. Kevin's about 55, isn't he? Haven't I seen him somewhere before? Yeah, that's Jimmy. You know, Jimmy Corkill, Billy's brother. Is he for real? The soft owl. All right, he hasn't been well. Listen, H, I've left you some bran flakes there, mate. They're in the kitchen, all right? Well, we keep your eyes on him. I've seen him on Crime Watch. Hmm. Harold Cross. Yeah, I think he might have been in a home and he's just wandered off. He turned up here the other day, yeah. No. OK. Thanks very much. Bye. No joy. Yeah, another one bites the dust. Yeah. Is that for Gemma? Yeah, I'll give the lads the money. Does that include me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's in there. Um, what was I saying this morning? Oh, it's all right, me forget it. So how's it been? Well, one minute fine, then the next. We're going to have to do something, you know, Sam. Look at the poor bloke. There's something seriously wrong, you know. Yeah, but handing him over to some social worker who doesn't know him from Adam. Don't worry, son. I understand. I just don't want to be in anybody's way. You're not. Of course you're not. We just need to find an address or something so we can get you back home. Or get you somewhere where you'll be looked after properly. If you can remember where you were living. I've tried to remember, but my, my mind's a blank. Well, what about your Kevin? Hasn't he left you an address or a number or anything? He could have left the country for all we know. I don't want to be a burden. I don't know. What's the matter with me? My memory's shot. You're all right, mate. Don't be getting upset. I wish my head was here. Oh, flaming hell. All right, mate. All right. <laughs> I'm sorry, yeah, I'm sorry. All right, mate. <laughs> it's gonna be all right. I want to go home. We're gonna have to break the door down, you know. Oh, hang on, Mick. He did this the other day. Open the door in a minute. He's all in the window. Flaming hell, you don't think he's... Harry, what are you doing? Here's our Kevin. Kevin's not here, mate. It's just your old muckers from years ago, Sinbad and Mick. Kevin! What are we going to do? Let's hope it's a fire brigade, then. Come on, Harry. Unlock the door, will you? Has he brought his mother with him, or is he on his own? Sin, we're in luck. Cavalry's arrived. Kevin. I really appreciate you taking him in. Well, to be honest, we were, we were thinking we might have to hand him over to the health social services, you know. We didn't know what else to do, like. I just want to get him back home now. You, um, taking him back to yours? Yeah, I'll book a couple of days off work. Well, don't you think you need to sort out something a bit more permanent? No, he'll be fine. Just gets a bit confused sometimes, but once it passes... I think it's a bit more than confusion, Kev. I mean, there's something seriously wrong with him. I mean, even in the time we've had him, you can see it, can't you, Mick? Haven't you had him checked out? I'm not sticking him in an old people's home, if that's what you mean. He'd lose it then, stuck in front of a television with a load of vegetables. And what's the alternative? What, leave him in on his own, let him wander off again? He's going to do himself some serious damage. You're going to have to face it. He can't look after himself. You're going to have to get something sorted. I just feel like I'm letting him down. You'd be letting him down if you left him to fend for himself. I'm glad my mum isn't here to see him like this. It's for the best. Yeah, I know. Doesn't make it any easier, though, does it? Is your car's on tonight? OK. Keep in touch, eh? Let us know how you get on. Yeah, I will. Come on, Dad. Poor old Harry, eh? I never thought it'd end up like that. It happened to any of us at any time, mate. You had more patience with him than I did. Maybe that's because I can see myself in 30-odd years' time, but I won't have a Kevin to go searching the streets looking for me. Hey, I'd make a few inquiries if he just disappeared off the face of the earth. <laughs> yeah, not the same as having a family of your own, though, is it? Till I, lad. Till I, H. Good luck. 